Were you expecting someone else? You know, it's not common to hear that a video game character from the 90s has came back, but it's common to hear people announce sequels to old movies. Anyways, my point is that we were all promised Earthworm Jim 4 would happen for over 15 years, but it never happened. But during all of that, it was announced that not only Earthworm Jim 4 would be a ding, but also we were all told a TV show reboot was in development. There been a bunch of strange things happening in 2021, like people watching The Mandalorian, trying to restock on PS5s, and mascot horror being ruined thanks to this blue string clay thingy. Anyways, but the Intellivision Mika was in development and being shown off, and Earth from Gen 4 was announced to be an exclusive for the system. Many fans were happy, and some were skeptical, if Tommy Talarico was being fishy. But most importantly, out of nowhere in the wild, on November 18th, 2021, or from Jim Beyond Groovy was announced. And there's a trailer that was shown on YouTube. Well, people call me Earthworm Jim, and I like it. It's my brand, it's me. My friends call me Groovy Jim. Now, I tried to get marketing to approve that, but they said nah. Now, just to be clear, there's... The trailer is of Earthworm Jim being interviewed while talking about his new show, and we see that it's going to be in the style of 3D CGI animation. And also, there's going to be a few new characters, like Five, who's another Earthworm, Bulldog, who's a bull, I'm assuming, because of the name, and he looks like one, and finally, the one who would gain a following due to the state everyone was in in 2021. I can't wait for Mommy Lady Demitresk to show up. She's a hot, tall, busty, thick milf with killer nails. Moon! And they would release another trailer showing more footage from the first one, and it's shown that the show was going to come out in 2022. And at the same time, a bunch of cons or even official Earthworm Jim Twitter account, which was sort of sometimes off, was all made and shown off. So, so far so good, right? Well, other than Duck Tendable not being involved because of his <clears throat> rainbow crushing, 2022 came and nothing happened. Well, 2022 came and this show that we were promised didn't arrive. And somehow, somewhere, in either December of 2022 or of January 2023, New versions of the original trailers were leaked online, and these trailers had differences since they had new audio and extended scenes. Also got a new trailer that we see text that apparently the first episode is going to be about Earth from Jim in a court trial. It just shows us footage from the second trailer, and we get to hear how Moon sounds. Your Honor, I was just trying to chill, but Jim is a complete idiot. No wonder why everyone simped for her. Your Honor! Anyways, it was announced that the show was still in development, but a tiny delay, but now it's being headed by a new group, those two being Circus Studios and Passion Pictures. So that kind of leads fans to being chill, but then something sinister would happen that would cause everyone to go against Interplay and even them. A lot of info about Earth from Gym 4. I talked about all of it in my Earth from Gym 4 video if you haven't seen that one, but that one goes more in depth. In a nutshell, it was confirmed by one of the original Shiny members of Shiny Entertainment that they never worked on Earth from Gym 4. That Tommy Tallarico just got all of them together to make it look like they were going to make a new Earth from Gym game, and to add insult to injury, it was revealed that Tommy Tallarico wasn't the original creator of the Earth from Gym 1 and 2 soundtrack, but instead he stole someone else's work. And many people just took this as just Earth from Gym 4 not happening, since they literally just confirmed that there was no development of Earth from Gym 4. Well, what about the show? That's still happening at least, right? Well, kinda, but kinda not. It turns out on Interplay's website for Earth from Gym Beyond Groovy, there was a bunch of promos for an NFT project called Eden. And most importantly, they were all based off of a can of dirt from the trailer. Then some people, like me, actually found out that this was taken from a website known as Mini Mart City Park, a charity organization that was made where the money would go into the city and parks. But Interplay instead just stole the image from one of their actual can of thirds, which just not only screams laziness, but also makes them kind of a jerk for misleading people into buying their NFTs. When Mini Mart City Park, their cans of dirt, the money goes into like their parks and city. And a lot of people wondering, ooh, what if Interplay was just using Earth from Jim as an NFT project? which kind of got some people furious at them. It's also worth noting that by the time of writing this video, 
An animator released a model of the ship from the Earthworm Jim Beyond Groovy trailer, and they said they worked on it for two years at Circus Studios and it was for a short film. This anonymous user has never came out about any info or nothing about the development of it, it's most likely to be kept a secret. Also, they mentioned that it was a short film, meaning it's either a full test pilot or something else. And also, Interplay recently fixed up their website, removing and hiding all evidence of the Eden Project, added a synopsis of the video games, but weirdly enough, they made a censored edit for the teaser trailer on their website and removed a can of dirt and called it, and I quote, clean TV. And also on Amazon, you can actually order official Earthworm Jim clothing from Interplay Entertainment on Amazon. Thankfully, none of it is stolen fan art. So it seems like Interplay is finally cleaning up their act and starting to actually care about the Beyond Groovy project. It also seems like they're removing any trace of their NFT project, which probably means they're gonna go back to finally making the show. But yet again, only time could tell if they're actually gonna make the show or if they're not gonna make the show. But what do you guys think? <laughs>